Is consolidation a good thing or a bad thing for you? And I'm thinking of, for example, Deutsche Bank and Commerce Bank tying together. Well, again, if I look at the U.S. Uh, as a model, if you want, uh, I think where the U.S. was 30 years ago and even 10 years ago, I mean, you, you've seen uh, this consolidation happening uh, together with the creation of a capital market which is deep and liquid and is, which is helping the banks. So I think we need to see that in Europe too. Consolidation may be in the first stage within borders, within countries, and Deutsche Commerz is part of that uh, uh, um, factor, and then cross-border. And we need to create European banks that can compete with the US banks on the same level. And in order to do that, we need also to be uh, a bit more profitable, probably. And taking out some of the taxes would contribute to that. Speaking specifically of your bank, Societe Generale, uh, there's something of a, a new plan. Uh, you're going yeah. to be getting rid of people, a fair number of people, something like 1,600 people. Can you uh, approach success without consolidation? Can you do it on your own? I think it's the first step. I think the first step is to uh, focus on what we do well, where we are really uh, first in class and trying to avoid doing everything. And maybe in a second stage, take part in a consolidation which will give you uh, or give us uh, the scale uh, to, to be able to uh, compete in other areas. But the, right now, I think the focus is to improve uh, uh, returns uh, by focusing on, on the kind of businesses that, where we excel. So when you say focus on consolidation, uh, does that mean that you are actively looking at no. potential targets to no, I think No, as I said, the first step is improve uh, profitability, uh, refocus on the business where we excel, where we are good at, uh, and then the second stage when the regulation and the political environment, which in Europe uh, still uh, has an impact on the banking system, there is still a tendency for politicians to consider banks as a kind of you know, a national, uh, uh, national companies. They have to start thinking European instead of thinking uh, nationally. So this may take uh, a few years. Uh, as chairman of the bank, how would you describe that core area or areas where you really can excel, you can win? And how would you describe what basically you need to back off of? Yeah. Well, um, we as a bank, we are, if I can use uh, we are tailors. We, we tailor products to, to our companies, to our clients, instead of doing mass, uh, mass products, uh, mass production. So we excel in kind of structured products, uh, equity derivatives, and uh, that are tailored to the clients. And that's where I think we, we are number one, number two, and we are profitable. I think we want to refocus on these areas. Uh, we have many other products, uh, and you know, also in terms of uh, geographically, uh, Central and Eastern Europe, uh, Africa. We have a very strong Africa franchise. I think that's that's where we uh, you know we, we are good at and. We want to, to refocus on, on, on these, on these uh, sectors. Several years ago, a number of banks, including Societe Generale, saw the U.S. as the bright spot to expand into because capital markets uh, were and have been so robust. I'm wondering, from your perspective, is that opportunity over? Well, I mean, banks may have different strategies. What, what I certainly notice is that the, the banking sector, the financial sector, is much more concentrated uh, in, in, in the U.S. So uh, banks have market power uh, and they start from a basis which is much more profitable because the domestic market in the U.S. is more profitable and they go abroad starting from a, a, a strong domestic market. In Europe, there is much more competition, margins are smaller, so it's not that easy to go into the U.S. coming from Europe. Things may change, uh, maybe when uh, Europe will become like the U.S. Huh? But right now, I think it's... Uh, uh, f we are present in the U.S. actually with an operation which is, uh, which is relatively focused and efficient. Uh, that's, that's what we think at present is, uh, should be our goal, I think. If um, part of the goal of consolidation would be gaining market power that you see U.S. banks have, does that argue that we really should be looking first and foremost at consolidation within a country as opposed to cross-border? I mean, you would take us back to Deutsche Bank, Commerce yeah. Bank, as opposed to, so to Unicredit. I mean, there are different disputes about which makes more sense. As yeah. you look at it in France, does it make more sense to Fr for French banks to get together with French banks rather than looking at Italian banks or German well, banks? If, if you look at the, the first stage of consolidation, which is the national level, I would say that, you know, uh, mm. France uh, and other northern uh, European countries have reached a level of consolidation which is 
I would say appropriate, three, mm -hmm. four banks. Uh, there are two countries which are big uh, in Europe uh, where consolidation is really, has really uh, to, to be completed, which is Italy and Germany. There you need uh, still, I mean, there are too many banks in these countries, too small, uh, often cooperative banks, which, uh, you know, compete uh, because, I mean, in, in a way, I wouldn't say unfair, but they don't need to remunerate capital, so uh, they undercut uh, prices. So I would say consolidation needs to take place in Germany, uh, in Italy, and then uh, we will talk about uh, consolidation at a higher level. Just uh, lastly, I wanted to get your thoughts on the Italian banking system, the doom loop that people have been talking about, the fact that they own so much of the government debt uh, and some of the fiscal problems yeah. there. Do you think that there's credence in that? I mean, are you worried about the Italian banking system right no, now? No, interestingly, it's true. Uh, your, uh, Italian banks are holding government bonds, but these are largely the small banks. Uh, again, they don't have a big good business model. It's not the task of a bank, bank to invest in government bonds, but rather to, to lend to the real economy. But these small banks maybe are not very profitable, so they, they decide to, uh, you know, to, to, uh, to invest in government bonds because it's easier, and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't re require a lot of effort. But this is a sign that uh, uh, this is not sustainable. They need, we need consolidation. We need, these banks need to get bigger, more efficient, and do the real work, uh, the, the real job of a bank, which is to lend uh, to, to, to companies, to households, rather than to the government. So it, it's, it's a bit more complicated than just a doom loop. It's, a, it's an issue of sustainability of the banking system as it is today uh, in Italy, which has, you, know, you have two big banks which, which are solid. But the rest uh, still needs, uh, is looking, is searching for a business model which at present is not, is not sustainable.